Hey guys, welcome to my fish room. Today's the day that the tanks get delivered. Um, I can't believe it's finally happening. Today is here. It's been a long process to get to this point. Uh, as you can see, these are the stands. I've got three stands, they're four foot long, just over two uh, meters high. Um, and there's going to be three rows of tanks on these stands put here today. So basically, what we've got is two 4x2s, uh, six 2x2s that are one foot deep, and 12 1x2s that are one foot high. They're going to be stacked lengthways across the top rows here. And here's going to be the sun. The whole system's going to hold about 3,000 litres of water. So I'm hoping that sun can handle all that filtration, but we'll see. If it doesn't, I can put another sump in and run half the tanks on another sump. But basically, yeah, I'd like to start this YouTube channel to show my fishing and, you know, my love of the hobby. I've been in the hobby since I was about, oh, easily since I was about 10. I've always wanted fishing and this is the start of um, that dream. So, uh, I was in the hobby for years growing up as a, as a teenager and then life um, took over and um, I left the hobby for a while but now I want to get back into it. I was breeding Tanganyikan cichlids and um, Malawi cichlids so uh, I like oh, these, these will be set up for cichlids but um, I want to get into discus as well this time. I've never never had discus before but I'm hoping that uh, if I'm successful with my Tanganyikan setup, this will all be for Tanganyikan fishing. I will get into this, this and they will go on the other side of the room. Uh, but that's for the future. This is costing a bit to set up. Um, it's been a long process. The, I'll show you now some photos of what this room looked like before I started. So here's a series of photos of the progress I made over the last few months building this fish room. So here's some before photos. Uh, the newspaper on the wall is just to show you know, to give me an indication of the tank sizes and heights and how far the stand will be out. I actually decided to change the side the stand was on so to the other wall. Here's some shots of the floorboards being torn up, uh, the first floorboards being removed. There's the insulation underneath those floorboards. I want it to be on the slab because of the weight of the tanks obviously. As I say later in the video, these floorboards smelt of cat pee. So here's the electrical work being done in the room. You can see the air conditioner on the top of the frame. All the joists removed from the room. Started painting here. You can see the aircon is in, in place now. Started the concrete ceiling on the, of the floor. The finished result of sealing the concrete one of the stands painted with one of the other stands ready to be painted and here's how the fish room looks right now all three stands painted and in the final position the previous owners of this house they also kept the cats in here and there was floorboards and the floorboards just soaked in the cat pee so this room stuck but it took me a few weeks to rip up all the floorboards slowly slowly after work and um, getting all that done sealed the floor, painted the walls, it was completely rendered, so that paint took ages to, 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 to set in because the render would just soak up all that paint. Got aircon installed, some new circuits put into the room. Um, the Sparky who did the electricals in this room actually keeps fish as well, he's in marine rooms, uh, reefic rooms. So I got lucky with him that he knew exactly what he was doing. So I'm hoping to use the aircon to heat and cool the aquariums and stuff. Um, they'll be back up heaters in the sun. And I'm hoping to run about a 15,000 litre per hour pump in that sun. All the tanks are drilled. Um, I'm going to have to spill all the plumbing. I'm going to uh, vlog all that for you guys. Uh, and yeah, I just want to basically record the journey for me. So I've got something to look back over. But um, I want you guys to see and enjoy the 
process as much as I'm enjoying this process because I think it's going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, we finished the stands uh, last weekend, painted them all black, the backgrounds of the tanks are going to be all black and um, I just want that sleep look, that sleep design. Eventually all I want to see is the glow of the tanks shining through the tanks. I don't want to see any of the plumbing, I don't want to see any cables, nothing. That window's going to get covered up. Same with these doors over here. And um, I think it's going to look pretty sh uh, chic. But we'll see. So yeah, as I said, tanks will be here in about, well, they'll be here today, but they'll be here in about two hours from now. So, pretty excited. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just thought I'd record this moment and pop it on the net and yeah, start vlogging um, my my adventures into fish keeping and uh, mainly tanking and eating secrets. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this <laughs> little crappy video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.